With this practical, we would like to predict the direction of osmosis. Once again, let's recap what that term actually means. The movement of water from a region of a higher concentration to a region of a lower concentration through a semipermeable membrane. That is called osmosis. Now, for this practical, you will need a large beaker. I've taken a potato and I've already peeled it, but we need to make a flat base at the bottom. So, cut carefully with a scalpel to ensure a flat base. Now, I have already taken the potato. It now has a flat base. I have also hollowed out the potato. Be careful not to pierce the potato because you want the potatoes to represent the semi-permeable membranes. The potato cells, the, the cell membranes of the potatoes are serving as our semi-permeable membranes. Now I need to place sucrose solution into the hollow of that potato. To indicate the level of the sucrose solution at the beginning of this experiment, I place a pin at the level at the beginning of this experiment. I now need to place the potato into the beaker that contains pure water. You need to allow this to stand for a few hours and you need to record results at every hour. You will see that the level of the water in the beaker will have dropped, but the level of the sucrose solution in the hollow of the potato will have increased. The direction of osmosis would be from the higher water concentration in the beaker towards the inside of the hollow of the cavity where the sucrose solution is. You will be able to see the result at the end of this investigation. You'll see that the water level inside the hollow of the potato has risen considerably. You have placed a second pin to see the amount of level that has risen. Note that the water level inside the beaker has dropped.